While Adobe may be the top choice of NLE for most indie filmmakers, DIY production houses, and beginners, the steep $50 per month subscription charge is enough to drive some people away from the highly rated editing suite. So today, we are going to take a look at top 5 alternatives to Adobe Premiere Pro, both free and paid. Before going into this video, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to get all the latest videos on your notification tab. Number 5 on this list is Lightworks. Lightworks is a free and easy to use non-linear video editor that is suitable for beginner and experts alike. It has been used on many of the finest films in cinema history, The Wolf of Wall Street, Pulp Fiction, Bruce Almighty, Hugo and many more. But they are edited on the premium version of Lightworks, which costs almost $25 per month. On the free version of Lightworks you get to use basic functionalities like real-time effects, advanced multi-cam editing, second monitor output, basic color correction and ability to import a wide range of file types. It can also export videos up to 720p in MP4 format. I personally have used it, and it works really good on low-end PC. Number 4 on the list is Shotcut. Shotcut is a free and open-source cross-platform video editing application for Linux, Mac and Windows alike. The UI is pretty similar to Premiere and has pretty good basic features. You have a wide choice of presets, right up to 4K at 60fps, or you can also set it to custom and specify the exact resolution and frame rate you want to work with. I personally have used it in the past, and the export quality was pretty decent with less video size. It has various audio filters including bass and treble, copy channel, high pass, down mix, and swap channels to mix sounds across tracks. It is best for home videos and for YouTube, and it's definitely worth trying. Number 3 on the list is DaVinci Resolve. Used by top Hollywood studios, DaVinci Resolve is powerful video editing software. It has both free and paid version which brings out a ton of new features. DaVinci Resolve puts up tough competition against other industry-leading video software like Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple's Final Cut Pro. Being free and giving out this much professional features to the users, it really questions the huge amount of subscription charges Adobe and Apple impose on their users. DaVinci Resolve has a host of powerful tools for different post-production processes and has been used on many top productions, including The Avengers and The Hunger Games. Each and every process has separate workspace which are not particularly seen in non-linear editors, and the learning curve is steep. It is not beginner-friendly, but it is worth learning. I personally have used it, but as I have a low-end PC, I found it difficult to playback videos and had issues regarding stability. So if you don't have a decent PC, I would not recommend this. Other than that, DaVinci Resolve is worth giving a try. Number 2 on the list is KDEN Live. On the list of all the open source video editors, KDEN Live still remains as the king. KDEN Live is a free and open source video editor that works on Linux, Windows, and Mac alike. It is so light that it works on any low-end PC that you can imagine. I personally have used it in the past when I switched to Linux for a while, and some of the videos on this channel was edited on KDEN Live. We have also made various comedy skits only using this software. If you know the language Malayalam, feel free to check those videos out in the description. Even though it's open source, one cannot ignore the wide range of functionality it provides, for free. KDEN Live allows you to use and arrange several audio and video tracks, each one can be locked or muted to your convenience. Being based on the powerful FFmpeg libraries, KDEN Live can use almost any audio and video formats directly without the need to convert or re-encode your clips. Dozens of effects are available, ranging from color correction to audio adjustments, as well as all the standard transform options. The export quality of the videos looks exactly same as the original video, with less file size. Even though it takes some time to get used to it, I 100% recommend KDEN Live if you are looking for free alternatives to Premiere. And number one on the list is Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is one of my favorite video editors that I have used, and this very video is edited in this same software. Filmora is free, lightweight and stable, even on a low-end PC. I'm not sponsored by Filmora, but it is pretty much suitable for beginners and professionals alike. It is enriched with ton of features and you can make amazing videos more faster than other professional video editors out there. It provides a lot of transitions and effects built in, which are not seen in Premiere. It has excellent color correction tools and free Hollywood LUTs. 
The titler has ton of templates that you can choose from and filters are top notch. It also comes with elements and its own music and sound effects library, so you don't have to download anything from external sources. The export quality is seamless just like in KDEN Live, and you can import and export all the popular formats out there. The Pro version costs around $90 for one year, so it is a reasonable price when you look at the features. Video editing should be fast, fun and reliable, and Wondershare Filmora does not disappoint in any of them. And that is why Filmora for me is number one. Hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments down below which video editor you use and why you would recommend it to others. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until then bye for now, see you guys in the next video, peace.